Okay, I did a video on this a while ago, but I'm going to do a little bit of an experiment now. I'm going to see how noisy the X1 carbon is on this set, which I've got concrete slab and some foam, just the workshop side. And I'm going to try these things at Bamboo Lab, sell as well a little rubber feet for the bomb. I use a decimal meter on my phone, but it's just warming up. I'm just going to print a benching on each one and make a bit of a comparison now this always felt like it was the quietest option before but it was never scientific didn't look at a decibel meter so i thought i'm in a new location now got a shed out the back with us in i'm just going to give it a try see how it works out so i'll cut back when it starts printing and show you the numbers Okay, this seems like a good place to do it. Something's been running out of much quicker pace, so that is 4 and 5, and running out. Between 30 and 39 when I'm not speaking. Generally though it's sort of mid thirties on average, so that's worth that. Bit of benching. Mini benching. Alright, I will cut back in a minute with a different setup. Okay, we're back now with just straight on the desk. As you can see, nothing there, no weapon pads. Um, just layer four. significantly higher. I'll stop talking there so you can see. Okay, when it gets moving faster, it goes up way into the 40s. So I'll just let it move on to the next layer again. And hopefully we'll see it move a bit faster. junk and everything always takes longer when you wait for it. A bit of fluctuation again but uh, actually it's not as bad as a floor, but it does touch into the floor once more. At the moment though, I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually be bothered about having a concrete slab there. Okay, so you can see it goes into the 40s, 42, whereas it peaked at like 39 before. It's not a massive difference. I'll try it with the little rubber feet now. Okay, we're back with the rubber feet now. And I hate these things. Look how much it shakes. Don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's shaking a lot. Here's the numbers. bad though, probably a bit quieter than the uh, slab, not as noisy as just being firm on here, but these things are awful. I think if you do use them, you need to stick them in. You move your printer a bit, it folds over and just comes out. So they're not very good. They could do with a little sticky pad like you get on, on the originals.
So actually, I think for the minimal noise difference, I'm just going to ditch the slab now, the, this firmware. Not sure what version this is on. And firmware 01.08.02.00. to be pretty decent, pretty quiet for the most part. Anyway, I hope this helps you.